Hey guys, it's me, Jane here. I'm back with another Testimonial Star Wars sequel trilogy uh, rewrite set review based off of my scripts that are on the Discord. Um, but yes, this is episode 8. Um, this is the large set of episode 8's first wave. And uh, yeah, this is one that, was that I showed a bit on stream that everybody's been guessing. Somehow nobody guessed. It's the Dreadnought. The Final Order Dread or First Order Dreadnought. Final Order. I mean, I made it with my own design. Kind of. But based off of the First Order one. Anyways, see, this is my sequel trilogy rewrite. Episode 8 set thing. But yeah, so let's get into the figures. So this is based off of the finale. Uh, of the movie. Here's Captain Phasma at the end. She dies. Finn. Uh, her and Finn get into a fight. Once again, I use Jyn Erso's face. And yeah, she's basically the same as the other ones from my other custom sets, except she has a pistol and a staff, which can spin. But so yeah, she's the cape. It's the last Jedi variant. But yeah, so the next figure is um, Captain Kennedy. I believe, uh, who commands the Dreadnought, you know, and the last Jedi, and in here he commands it too, and it will not focus. There we are. I used the fin torso from the First Order ATST, and the head is Krennic's, and the hair is Dr Dryden. No, it's uh, Beckett. What's his face? Why can I not? Tobias Beckett. Yeah. Yeah, it's a one-sided face, but yeah, this is the Mr. Incredible. Uh, why? Why will it not focus? Well, yes, you, you, you understand, I'm sure. Yeah, there we are. Anyway, so yeah, so next we have Finn. And this is his Episode 8 variant. And it's basically the same one from the official sets. Except he has blue pants. Instead of... Uh, gunmetal, you know? And also I use Cyborg's face. Just for some more serious expressions. And also a smiley one. But yeah, he probably would not have the cut back there because maybe he doesn't go through that. But yes, and also he has this right baton and the right shield so that he can fight Phasma. Then the next figure is Rose. And yeah, I've included Rose. And I've tried to make sure that she's more likable. But yeah, so she has a resistance type blaster, you know, gunmetal gray blaster. And she has a stun stick, you know. And I use one of the tool pieces from the tool uh, set collection. Which obviously they would not include this by itself. So I had to include all the tools as well. So yeah, and then everything about else about Rose is the exact same from the Resistance Transport pod thing. So yep. And then the next two figures are generic figures. We got a Jet Trooper with that generic face. It's the exact same one from the Pistana Speeder Chase, except he's got a blaster with a little Technic pin with stud. Everything else is the exact same. Except the head isn't an angry clone. And then the next figure, or the last figure, is a gunner. And it's the same sign that I've been using. You know, the Final Order torso, the Death Star gunner legs, and then the First Order, or yeah, First Order gunner crew helmet. And then the head, I believe this came in the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Nova Corps fighter. set from 2014 but yep so those are the six figures and there's also a mouse droid in the set but yeah first let's show off the set here you can see it it's flat like it is in the last jedi and that's um yeah so then that's why it's got these turbo laser batteries these initially were going to be the handle to open it up but uh they would have fallen off easily and also they were too close together if I were to do it up here because it hinges back here. 
you can see this here, this like, I don't know, that could be like a shield generator or something. Maybe a, a jamming sensor array, I don't know. But yeah, so it hinges like this. And I had them up here, but they'd knock into each other. And I wanted to make them look not, like decent. Didn't want them to look too thin or anything. But yeah, they do hinge up and down. And they just attach under there. So yeah, you can still lift it, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, at the front, it's got like a hammerhead type shape and two stud shooters. Um, so yeah, it's got two stud shooters. It's got feet. And also on the bottom are the two uh, siege cannons. The, the yeah. But so as we go back, you know, I used a whole ton of these. This is unrealistic how many I used. But yeah, I don't think Lego would use this many. They'd probably use side, uh, you know, sideways hinge plates like the Millennium Falcon, or they'd make it just like ugly, kind of, kind of like, um, I don't know. But, so, yeah, you can see I use a lot of these. Way too many. Wow. And then, back here, I, I like this idea of using just, like, a hollow area where you can see all the way through. Like, yeah, you can see all the way through. I don't know what it would be for, but I thought it looked cool. And then these hinged parts, they're not really for storage. They're just to cover up holes. But, yeah, and then once you get around back... Oh, I guess I could spin this. See all the engines that propel the dreadnought. And so, yeah. Obviously, the opposite side is the exact same as this side. So I shouldn't have to turn it. But so for actual surface details, there's just a little tiny, small stuff. Uh, once again, this is the hinges. Sorry. And then these, I think, are probably like shield generators. And then these, you'll see what those are for right now, honestly. So this is the handle, which, oh, didn't mean to do that. This is the handle, which, you know, you can hinge up and then hold it. But obviously it's front heavy a bit, a bit more front heavy than you'd like. And so I didn't want it to be stuck like this because this doesn't really look very pretty. It looks kind of ugly, I think. And so... I want it to be able to hinge, but also be able to use the handle. So you take these out, you see this here, and then you can stick it in there. Stick it all the way through. Come on. Why is it not attaching? There we go. And now... Okay, well that's even worse a bit. Eh, that doesn't work as well as I've liked. Maybe it was better just like hanging loosely. I don't know, but see, yeah, you take those out and they just go underneath this fender piece. Oh, come on, stop that. Okay, because yeah, by in, in universe, it wouldn't have the whole handle thing up top. It would just be down here. And this is kind of like a safeguard for the main fusion reactor chamber which is up here which is the target you know where the b wings and the y wings have to target and these are just tiny little details just to kind of fill in the holes because yeah this angles down i just use a tie fighter piece and then this here this ties into the actual dreadnought function because once again it has the siege cannons on the bottom also this looks very ugly under the bottom as you can see but, so yeah, there's the siege cannons there. Let's see if I can... There we go, I'm doing it. Okay, wait, th there's a reason why this is a tripod. Okay, here we go. Oh, you still cannot see it very well. Yeah, you can see it, 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 it. Once I turn this gear that I showed you up top, this little one, it connects. Connects through here. You can see a bit of the, you can see some of those four pronged gears, which then run up into this worm. 
this worm gear area here, which is actually built in upside down. And then that's what makes it to where these have friction, but can also be, um, can also like turn up and down. See, I can't even move it. I have to move it with the actual gear. Sorry, I couldn't show this off very well. Tripod's also being a bit stubborn. It's wanting to angle back to, without me wanting it to. Okay, are they in shot now? Yeah, here we go. See, I spin the gear and they can actually point all the way down. I gave them enough room to fit to be able to point all the way down. I think if I kept turning it too much, it would probably break parts because, you know, like it can't go back anymore. But so yeah, that's whenever then you'd want to just turn it back. And then you have to even show you the gears in there. If you look up in there where you can see a bit of yellow. And yeah, you can see them turning. But yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, I can't, I cannot put it down like this. Yeah, that would break stuff, especially. But yeah, so turning it left is what raises it. And you'll know if you've got enough whenever it's getting tight and then you kind of want to loosen it up a bit. But, yep. Ooh, that's why to get inside, you pull up here and the it just does in a bit and you may want to like, uh, if this were a real set, you know, you would want to angle these to where they're facing backwards so that they don't, yeah. And then see this, this is just so that, you know, I can use this part and also make it sturdy. And so I put these in here to kind of show just some interior details. But so yeah, yeah. here it is. Um, so in the back, back here, it's just a bit of like a little, um, a cruise quarter, I guess. It's, I, I didn't really know what to put in here, so I just threw the, the, the in two beds. Because you can't actually sit people in here. It's too, the roof is too low. Here's the mouse droid. So yeah, the roof is too low to actually sit people down in here, unfortunately. There's just some little controls there. There's clips for weapons. And on this side, there's two red buttons. But so yeah, it's got really low walls. And in here, there's three crates. And there's just some thermal detonators. And here's some coaxium fuel. And, and this one is all the other tools that came, that, you know, just for repairs. I'm not gonna show all of them because there's too many, but that's all of them. And yeah, this just sits in there. It sits on two studs, and these actually sit on one stud. They're just on jumpers. And yeah, then in the front, there's a little hatch part. And if you push down here, it pops down and it drops these, which can be like two bombs, because it's, it's a bomber type thing. And then you can see what I used for the controls there. It's just like some part that I forget where I got that actually. But yeah, and then they just lay in there sideways. There's two of them. And that stops them from falling back any further. But yep, and then you can see a bit more of the little gear worm box. So yeah, then that closes. And I totally forgot that I actually have two extra interior spaces that I did not do anything with. There I'm sure you can sit a figure in, so I could have put two chairs in there maybe. There's clips and yeah, that was just a bit of interior space that you can utilize. It was initially, it was initially going to be the uh, bridge crew pits, but I realized the throw knot was too short so I had to add more length. And yeah, these don't stud in, they just sit there. Kind of rest inside. But yes, and there's this area, this is all dedicated to the actual cannon changing and then for the windows i didn't know what to do and i ended up just going with some actual just windshield pieces or you know just window panes and the bridge is also very basic as you can see here 
um, yeah, it's got two of these, you know, a chair here and then that on the other side as well. And then there's a back simulated door using some control panel pieces that I believe I got from Moz, no, I got from Snoke's throne room. There's a green button here, red button here. And then in the front, there's just a little, you can actually see through the windows. And then there's just some control panels. That's very basic and that's from Snoke's throne room. But yeah, that's, that's about it for here. I'd imagine these are shield generators and they just hinge up and down. So it's on four, uh, you know, what is it? Hinge plates. But yeah, yeah, that's the Dreadnought. This is a very chunky, uh, clunky review. I don't, oh, that's why it's darker. Um, I'm missing a light bulb. So yeah, that's, I've, I was wondering why it was so dark in, over here. But yeah, this set would have nice figures. I think it could go for like a hundred. I think it would be very expensive actually. I don't think it would be worth the price because of how many parts I used. Like, it's pretty heavy. I think it would probably go for like 160, 150. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.